Good morning everybody, um, it's Rosetta here, welcome back. Um, today I'm just going to, I want to revisit some old projects that I've made that I haven't done videos for and I love these um, envelopes that I've made with just old book pages and I've just um, decorated them. So some I haven't really decorated the back because um, I would want to stick it down, some I, I, I have decorated so um, these are three different styles um, and I just want to revisit these um, and I thought I'd bring you along. This one here is a little bit different. Um, I've done um, the jagged edge here, uh, the ripped edge, which I really love and I've used some gorgeous book tape page there, um, storybook page um, and this is an old uh, vintage uh, picture bible sort of um, book um, this is the same book I think I used it for all of them actually yeah I did um, so I uh, hope you enjoy the process so this is um, some old uh, uh, sports book so this is just the uh, index of that. I'm just going to cut um, this off using my scissors. And it's, this is quite large. So these are going to be a little bit larger, these envelopes. I'm going to do them for more because I want to make some more journals. But I want to make some large format journals. Um, so I want these large envel larger envelopes for that. I can't believe the weather here. Um, as you may know, I, I live in Australia, I live in Sydney, and yesterday it was like it was 38 degrees, so hot, and today it's like 23, so raining in 23, which I prefer this weather. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's why I've got my candle out, and it's just I can't wait for autumn to start and winter. Uh, autumn and spring are my favourite, but I love um, winter as well. Um, and I love the rain too, it calms me. So I'm just going to do these. I'm not sure if I should cut them in half. So if I cut them in half, hmm, that would that could work. So these can be, okay, so I can do larger format or smaller format. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to cut these in half. Alright, so you can do that sort of style envelope.
okay so I'm just uh, completing this one now it's just as you see uh, it's super super simple you've just got to um, cut the corners in at an angle uh, just to create your shape and with the folded edges just fold them and um, cut them down at an angle so really super simple I'm so sorry at this time I I don't know what happened with the video I started to uh, decoupage over the envelope and um, I lost the video so I'm just going to start it back from here
so there it is the finished product um, I so enjoyed making these I could just make them all day it's so super simple as you can see just using um, any book page that you have I also love using the old book pages uh, that I have for this as I showed you in the beginning I used that old um, picture Bible the uh, vintage one so um, whatever pages you're using even if you're using those index pages you don't have to cover all of it because it's basically there's numbers on the page which we all love um, to have as background so whether you're um, doing you know covering the whole lot collaging over the whole lot or you're just collaging over little bits of it um, it still makes for a great base for the envelopes and my go-to is neutral colors if I stick to neutral colors um, I just find it's just so much easier to decorate whether I want to use it's just a little pop of color or the black and whites going on top um, I just find it's just so much easier it's less stressful for me to do that uh, even with my master boards I just use the neutral colors for the base and then add the pops of color afterwards um, so super simple as you saw um, so all I need to do now is just um, seal it up with some glue I was going to uh, put a little notch into uh, the uh, the front of the envelope um, as you put the whatever you put the you know journal card or whatever you're putting in the envelope um, I was going to do the notch but then I um, changed my mind about that because uh, I left as enough space uh, to be able to put something in there either a uh, some ephemera or even uh, a, a printed old letter that you um, you know make look old um, so yeah I, I do enjoy doing that as well um, so yeah just closing it up is the last thing I need to do and just want to take this time now just to let you know that I am fully recovered I did get the all clear from my surgeon which is amazing I feel so much better I feel like a, a, a new person really uh, suffering for so long um, and now I've just got my energy levels are back up and which is great so I have a bit more time after work I feel a bit better you know um, doing some crafting and then you know cooking for the kids and the husband <laughs> so yeah a lot more energy levels now which is fantastic and I do want to thank my new subscribers thank you so much and also my the uh, subscribers that have been with me from the beginning I really appreciate it so um, I just want to build my channel slowly and I just do appreciate um, any comments that you make as well any suggestions so I hope everybody is well um, and taking care of themselves we're going into autumn now which is my favorite uh, uh, season autumn and winter and into the Easter season which I love uh, Easter season as well so you take care enjoy spring in the northern hemisphere, hemisphere and have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video